sorry, we are at home tuition. In this video, area and perimeter of different trapeziums, and we are going to compare the area and perimeter of the different trapeziums. A question given is: Take if the following trapeziums are of equal areas but have different perimeters. So solution. Let's see what is given and what to find first. So there are given trapeziums. They are given three trapeziums. Each trapeziums are of different shape and size. So we want to find the perimeter and area of all these three trapeziums, and we want to compare the area and perimeter of these three trapeziums. Okay. So we'll do find the area and perimeter. Of First, we'll take the first trapezium. This is the given first trapezium. So, first step, we will name the trapezium as A, B, C, D, naming the vertices. Then, we are going to find the perimeter of this trapezium. So, we know that perimeter of the trapezium is adding all the sides, sum of length of all the sides. So here the length of the side AB plus BC plus CD plus DA. So from the figure, length of the side AB is 14, BC is 4, CD is 10, and AD is 5. AD or DA is 5. So therefore, the perimeter of the trapezium ABCD is 14. Adding all the sides, 14 plus 4 plus 10 plus 5, which is equal to 33. So perimeter of first trapezium is 33. Now we are going to find the area of the same trapezium. So we have learnt in our previous videos the area of trapezium formula. That is area of trapezium is equal to height of the trapezium into sum of parallel sides divided by 2. Okay. So now we will see what is the height of this trapezium. So height is from base to base. So it is 4. H is 4. So, from the figure, height of the trapezium is 4 and the length of the parallel sides is, so this AB parallel side is 14 and length of the parallel side CD is 10. Now, we are going to apply these values in the formula. So, area of trapezium ABCD equal to H into AB plus CD, that is sum of parallel sides divided by 2. Height is 4 into 14 plus 10 divided by 2. So, if you simplify this, you will get the answer as area of this given trapezium ABCD is 48. Now, we will do for the second given trapezium. So, this is the second given trapezium. So, before starting finding the perimeter and area, we will label the trapezium. So, P, Q, R, S. I am giving names for all the vertices. So, now here the perimeter of the trapezium P, Q, R, S is sum of length of all the sides. That is P, Q plus Q, R plus R, S plus S, P. So, from the figure, the length of P, Q is 8, Q, R is 8, R, S is 4 and S, P is 8. So, now the perimeter of trapezium P, Q, R, S is we are going to add all the side lengths. That is 8 plus 8 plus 4 plus 8. So, if you add all these things, you will get perimeter of the trapezium as 28. Now, we are going to find the area of the same trapezium by using the formula. So, we know that area of trapezium is equal to height of trapezium into sum of parallel sides divided by 2. So, here the height of this trapezium, we have to take it from base to base. So, height is 8. If you calculate, that is if you count the number of units, you will get 8. So, this is the height of the trapezium. And here the parallel side is PQ and SR. So, it is 8 and 4. Now, we are going to Substitute all the values in the formula. So, height is 8 into PQ is 8 plus RS is 4 divided by 2. So, it is 4 times 12. You will get the area of the trapezium as PQ RS as 48. Now, we are going to see the next given figure. So, this is the next figure. So, as we know, the first step is we want to label the vertices. So, here I have labeled it as X, Y, Z. Okay, W. So, W, X, Y, Z. Now, the perimeter of the trapezium W, X, Y, Z is sum of length of all the sides. That is W, X plus X, Y plus Y, Z plus Z, W. So, from the figure, the length of the sides W, X is 6, X, Y is 7, Y, Z is 10 and Z, W is 6. 
So now I'm going to add all the side lengths to find the perimeter of this trapezium W X Y Z. So it is six plus seven plus ten plus six. So if you add all these things, you'll get twenty nine. Now we'll find the area of the same trapezium. So to find the area of the trapezium, first step we want to find the height of the trapezium. So height we have to take it from the par parallel side to parallel side. Okay, so from base to base. So if you count here, one, two, three, four, five, six units. So height of this trapezium is six, and this is parallel side. W X is one parallel side, and Y Z is the another parallel side. So we are going to apply these values in the formula. So height height is six into one parallel side is six plus other parallel side is ten divided by two. So six into six plus ten divided by two. So that is six into eight. So the area of the trapezium WXYZ is forty-eight. Okay. So now we are going to compare area and perimeter of all the three given figures. So first figure, the perimeter is thirty-three and area is forty-eight. And second figure, perimeter is 27, and area what we have found is 48. So for third figure, the perimeter is 29, and area is 40. So from this comparison chart, we can say that the area of all the three different sized and shaped trapeziums are same, but their perimeters are different. So we can conclude that even though all the trapeziums have equal area, their perimeters are Different. Now let's see the next question. So we know that all congruent figures are equal in area. Can we say figures equal in area need to be congruent? Okay. So what is they have given? So they are saving with the previous example itself. So we know that for this example, the areas are same, but their perimeters are. Different. So all congruent figures have congruent area. Okay. So if area of all figures are same, then that figures are congruent or not? That is the one we want to find. So because this, all the areas are same, but we want to find whether these figures are congruent or not. So we know that two figures are congruent if they are same size and shape. That is, if they are corresponding angles and sides are equal, then only we can say that that figure is a congruent figure. Since corresponding angles and sides are equal, they have same area. Okay, so that is why the congruent figures have same area. But the converse, figures having same area are not congruent, is not true. Okay, so if the figures have same area but they are not congruent, congruent means they should have same size and shape. Here each figure is having different size and shape. So even though the area of a figures are same, they are not congruent figures. Hope you have understood how to find the area of a given trapezium, perimeter of the given trapezium, and to compare the area of the trapezium and perimeter of trapezium of different figures. and to find whether the given figure is congruent or not thank you for watching this video